Okay, and welcome to Kamado Cooking UK. Now I've got a few ingredients out here that we're going to make up a, a dry rub with for some chickens. Um, I'm going to try and do a couple of chickens on the rotisserie today. So um, I've not used the rotisserie for a, a while now. I've done some some lamb chops last week and so today we're going to put a couple of chickens on now and um, and, and get them cooked on on the rotisserie um, they do taste really nice um, if you have got rotisserie um, so let's crack on and start making our, our dry rub now the first thing i'm going to do is tablespoon, a level tablespoon of black pepper Put that to one side. Um, the same again with some salt, about a level taste point of that. This is um, this is flakes of salt, of sea salt. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put just like a heap full tablespoon um, of paprika. Now I'm using just normal paprika in there, but um, smoked is, is, is just as fine with it. Now, I haven't got my cup out here. I'm just gonna actually just pour out. I reckon it's about that much brown sugar. And we'll just mix that in. Sometimes it's better just to do it with your, your fingers. Like that. We've also got some oregano. Now, actually, if I just show you that. About the same flat level tablespoon of that and the final thing we're going to put in is we're going to use some um, garlic granules it's quite fine these garlic granules but it's not powder so the same again with that two garlic heat now you can put cumin in there as well but I'm not going to do that on this this one today So that's our basic rub. Now I'm hoping that's enough for about two, two chickens. Right now, these chickens did come trussed already, but they used like a uh, like a rubberized type truss on them, which is no good for us. So what I'm going to do first is take that off on both of these. So just the tips of the wings. Get rid of those. We'll do tuck those underneath. But so if we truss it, it should help to cook the um, chicken evenly. So let's put that knife over there. So what we're going to do? We'll start from this end. Now, around a couple of times on that leg. Come round across on this one, round a couple of times. Now, what we've got there is the parson's nose, which I always cut off. So anyway, where are we? Um, so, yeah, so they're there. And just pull those together tightly then come round the front what we want to do is just get these up here a little bit like that let's do a, a double bow which will make you slip knot tap that wing in
and then pull tight. And that should stay there. So it's trussed together. Right, let's start getting some of this um, marinade, well not a marinade, but a, a dry rub onto our, our birds. We'll just massage this on. back into the fridge for about another half an hour, an hour. Um, for no particular reason um, other than I'm not ready to cook these yet. But if I wasn't going to do that, these would be ready to go on now. So you could put those straight on now and they'd be fine. So next time you see these, I'm going to be put them on, putting them on their rotisserie outside and um, we'll go from there. So what I'm going to do is take that through the middle of that and straight out the end. And pull that down on, that should be all right now. Actually, if that bit comes out, I'll go a little bit more on. this straight through this side as well, out the other side. Yeah, it's not as easy as it looks. Get that in, tighten that right down. Okay, so I've got to manage to fit them both on okay, quite comfortably. Switch on the rotisserie and let that work its magic. We'll check back on that in half an hour. <laughs> 